Uh, hello and welcome to more World War II 172. I believe this is my 200th video on uh, 172 World War II war gaming diorama models tanks. Uh, we're going to look at some Panzer Grey Mark III's and Mark IV's. Uh, some of these are models and a couple of them are pre-built. Uh, let's take a look over here at this. This is a pre-built Dragon Mark IV. I believe that's either the F2 or the G. See, it's got the rare one one baffle muzzle brake globular. Uh, cool sand over gray. Another uh, pre-built Dragon. This is getting into the the H with the regular muzzle brake. Nice paint job on that. It's 332. I believe for some reason I bought uh, a second one of the same thing. Ah, this one's heavy. This one's a, a Mark IV, and you can see this is all die cast. This is the F1 with the short gun. And this is uh, by the Dinky. Also Matchbox brand. Uh, these are nice, cool, because they're so heavy. Uh, here's a model. This plastic model kit. Might have been Italy. A lot of these other ones, I'm not going to remember the brands, unless they say. It's got the aerial recognition symbol on there. Early war. And here's one. It's kind of cool because it doesn't have the Rommel Kitsy or the basket on there anymore. This one is an old Eshi, which became Italy. And this one's actually a PZ-3, so I'll put that over there. And here's a, here's a four. This is a resin kit. And then uh, with tracks. Kind of interesting. Another kit, got a barrel on there. All right, so that's the PZ4s. We just saw that PZ3. There's one, the PZ3 J or L with the long gun. That's an old SE kit. I have commanders, but I didn't spruce this one up by putting one in that. You see, that's about the only one with the open uh, <coughs> turret. This one is a plastic one, a little bit die cast. Don't remember the brand, if it's something related to Altaya. It's a knockoff. I have other ones, but I, uh, this is the only tray I got out of uh, the gray pens. There's a whole bunch of them. PZ2s, 1s, uh, etc. Well, this one does have the an opening. This one's a resin kit with metal tracks. This one's got some extra stowage on there. So you can make a nice uh, Barbarossa 1941 and into 1942 with all the gray here. Here's another resin one with metal. Kind of nice. This one's cool because it's got the the Ghost Division symbol on there. It's got the early gun. That's the 37 millimeter before they even went to the 50. And what is this? Armor Fast. Here's a heavy one. 
Uh, this one, yeah, this is uh, might be, what is the brand? They only made a few tanks, and they were mainly PZ3s. Admiral was the name of this. Uh, it's very nice. They put in the, that extra stuff on it. So this was heavy. You can really see the machine guns there. Hear it? It's very heavy. This one's uh, another die cast. Look at that. It has the chain on the front. Die cast and resin. And then this one's an eshy kit. The long barreled 50 millimeter. Kind of nice. That's a look at some of my gray early war Panzers, Panzer 3s and Panzer 4s. Uh, someday, if I get the whole thing out and set up full size 8x4 table, I can put the whole uh, gray army for the early years out with 38 T's and Panzer Jaeger 1s and early Sturmgeschutz with the short. 75 millimeter uh, lots of cool stuff all right i hope someone made it to the end of this video thanks for liking and subscribing lots more 172 world war ii to come thank you